Hi everyone, how you doing? Today, um, as mentioned previously, this is kind of uh, the start of several videos of home cooking, healthy. To sum it up, it's basically a vegetable dish, if you even want to call it a dish, because you basically chop up the vegetables, chuck it in the boiling water, that's it, it's done. <laughs> Trust me, there's no salt, there's no sugar, there's no fat, and you have to be careful on some of the vegetables that you use. I love carrots, but you can't cook the carrots because of the starch but you can have the carrots raw. I know, it gets complicated, but let's, let's dive in. Uh, saucepan, about just under half full. I've got a lot of veg to put in and then put the heat on high. I've got a sweetheart cabbage. Got runner beans, one red pepper, and some leeks and that that is it i'm literally going to chop all that up chuck it in and then add some frozen peas uh bring it to the boil just for a few minutes well maybe five um then then that'd be it i'll just drain drain the water off uh i'll show you as i go and then you're good to go Put it into little containers. I'll take it to work now. And uh, so, yeah, hopefully, I'm feeling a little bit better, but hopefully this will really, like, break the back of it, if you know what I mean. Right, so I've got some runner beans. I'm just gonna line them all up so I can cut the ends off. It always got in my little bag on the side. Um, same again. And then I like to Cut them into nice thin strips so they're proper runner beans, if you know what I mean. About that, I think. So cabbage next, take the outside leaves off. Cut the bottom off. And we're good to go. Roughly but finely if you, if you get my drift. I'm gonna chop the whole, the whole cabbage, but um, you don't need to see every single cut. And there's something about fresh fruit and vegetables 
the smell you get. There's nothing like it. It's fresh produce and it's just natural. It's there's no sugar, there's no fat, there's no salt. So that's the cabbage. Got some a couple of leeks. Okay, I'll cut the cut the ends off. Cut the dark dark ends off and then I always take the first first layer off and leeks go so well with with cabbage I find so again just So we can go the leeks. I've got a red pepper because because I can. I'll just find this the simplest way to do a pepper. That's it really, I mean, there's certain vegetables that um, are better than others, you know, and like I said, the carrots are fantastic, but not cooked. I'm not saying you can't have carrots cooked, but, you know, I'm really on it. I'm, when I'm on a program, I'm very strict. So you can have carrots raw, um, you can have mushrooms, um, cooked but they they say that raw is better so sometimes I put raw mushrooms on top of the, the cooked veg so I you know, let that boil off for a little while and then add, add the peas because they're frozen um, and then that's it I'll just drain it off and uh, show you the result Veg is boiled, done. So I'm just gonna drain it now and then segregate it into little meals. Do a bit at a time. <laughs> My uh, colander's not that big. Transfer that into a nice bowl. And then I'll drain off the rest of it. What I'll do then is just transfer it into containers that are microwave friendly so I can reheat them and have them as my my lunch etc. It's 450 grams that's about a pound in weight 
which is what they recommend daily and I have not got a problem with that I could eat two pound well they actually say it's a pound that's it it's a pound cooked and a pound uncooked so the uncooked uh, can also be salad so maybe I've got to get back into salad I don't know but but yeah that's the veg that's it as simple as that it's done and also this your skin complexion just changes dramatically I remember doing this I can't remember when it was but it was over 10 years ago and everyone that knew me after whew, a few weeks was saying have you had something done with your face and I'm sorry Botox or something I said are you kidding me they said your skin just looks flawless it's like wow thank you but that's down to the what you're eating so there you go guys so I'm gonna have some more water I've not had enough today uh, and that's my veg I've already had my dinner my veg <laughs> vegetables but this is for the next couple of days so prep is really important as well if you don't prep and you haven't got it ready then you go off off target and that's not good for anyone so prep is so important just get your meals ready and then that's it and then what i do then take the veg to work and then when i'm at work i'll just buy four or five apples and that's my fruit for the day so that's it guys don't forget your water so i just wanted to show you the start of my journey really because you know i don't want to shut down the channel i really don't i love um what i've made of it and i love that you guys get value from it so i don't want to shut it down but i've just got to be careful on what i film and what i eat for now anyway so maybe a treat um, every now and again but guys health wise I've got to do this so thanks for watching I hope you get value from this video I hope it helps some people uh, don't forget no salt no sugar no fat although the only fats you can have is raw nuts I say the only, I, I know for a fact that raw nuts, 28 grams. So it's like a big handful. So I have that a day as well because you need healthy fats as well to fuel your body. Guys, thanks for watching. Tell all your family, friends, colleagues and acquaintances, they might like this too. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one.